booktube welcome back to my channel it is booktubeathon 2018 well technically it's not booktubeathon yet but it is booktubeathon 2018 season that means it is time to start thinking about the books that we're going to be reading for the week-long readathon that starts on july 30th and goes until august 5th last year for booktubeathon i participated in most of the instagram and video challenges and i even won a prize guys i won a prize for sketching what i thought the rest of the picture that was on a book cover looked like and I won my first subscription box from Owl Crate and so this year I'm super psyched but I'm, I can't believe I just said that but I'm really looking forward to Booktubeathon 2018 because this year it starts on July 30th it goes until August 5th and I think I have some time that week to read the seven books that the readathon recommends that you read the challenge every year is to read seven books in seven days as well as to meet these other challenges and i'll get to that which will explain why i'm wearing the hat if you haven't watched any of the thousand or maybe thousands of other tbr videos that are floating around for the booktubeathon 2018 i'll tell you that one of the challenges this year is to read a book while you're wearing the same hat the whole time and so i picked this hat because it is a pretty wide brim hat and it is summer and I'm probably going to be spending some time outside and I like a good hat but I'll tell you more about the hat and why I chose this hat and the book that I'm going to be reading while I'm wearing the hat but first we'll start with the first challenge which is to let a coin toss decide your first read I picked two books because you can't be a coin toss unless you have two things to choose between. And so I chose two books, Heads and Tails, Heads and Tails. Heads because the picture that's on the front of this cover looks like the portrait, an imposing, serious guy portrait that looks like it belongs on some kind of currency. Like this could be the bust on the obverse of a coin or it could be on the paper note for some country's currency so this is my heads book and this is my tails book because it has tail in the title so for heads we're going with the general in his labyrinth by gabriel garcia marquez and for tails we're going with the handmaid's tale by margaret atwood because i need to read this book asap i started reading this and i never finished it so heads or tails and i'm going to use a coin to do my coin toss and so i have a coin right here i have a fair coin this is heads the George Washington and on the reverse I have the Great Basin from Nevada 2013 so heads or tails one more and you get to see it first is it it's tails so we're gonna be reading the handmaid's tale first this is gonna be my first book of booktubeathon 2018 and so my second book is going to be the general in his labyrinth because i really need to read this book but this book also meets a couple other challenges challenge number one is to let a coin toss determine your first read that's the first read challenge number two is to read a book about something that you want to do and for that i chose a little paris bookshop by nina george this book is set in paris it is about a bookstore owner i think who prescribes books for people who need something, which is something that I do because I'm here on BookTube reading books so that I can have more recommendations to share with you when you need a book to pick you up or a book to calm you down, a book about a particular subject or the best book in blank genre i want to be the person who prescribes that book to you which is why i have a booktube channel and here it is this guy is doing the literary version of booktube he is a literary apothecary monsieur Pudieu is a literary apothecary from his floating bookstore in a barge on the sand he prescribes novels for the hardships of life does that sound like something that i want to do i mean come on if you know me you know that that's something that i want to do so this is for challenge number two a book about something that you you've always wanted to do the next challenge is to read a book and to watch its movie adaptation I have the circle on my TBR I've had the circle on my TBR for some months now and I know there was a movie and I heard about the movie and I haven't watched that one either so this year for booktube 2018 I'm gonna be reading the circle by Dave Eggers and reading uh, and watching its movie adaptation challenge number four is to read a book with green on the cover so far I have this book which has green on the cover. 
I also have this book on my nonfiction TBR because I talked about it in my nonfiction video that I posted a few days ago. And this has a lot of green on the cover. This is The Icarus Deception by Seth Godin. I need to read this book ASAP. So Booktubeathon 2018, that's a great time to read this book. Then we get to challenge number five, which is to read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. And so I have this hat in my closet because I like hats. I wear hats to church sometimes. This is the style of hat that I probably wear to church, but not this hat because this hat is kind of plain. I like the hats with the decorations on them for church. But this hat makes me think about going to church and so I chose a book that would match my hat and I chose Things Bright and Beautiful by Anne Barra Salam which I won in a giveaway from Jen Campbell a few months ago and this title reminds me of the title for him which is All Things Bright and Beautiful which is a song that we used to sing in church and I guess we still sing it to haven't sung it in a while but all things bright and beautiful all creatures great and small all things wise and wonderful the Lord God made them all that is the first verse of a song and this book it's about a woman whose husband is a pastor and they go on some missionary trip and so this book is about church it's about religion and this hat is like a church hat I mean I like hats come on don't you remember the days when women used to wear hats to church all the time I'm trying to bring those days back challenge number six is to read a book with a beautiful spine this has a beautiful spine and I'm reading it for so many other reasons. This is the book with the hat, the book with green on the cover, or it could be an alternate for that. And now a book with a beautiful spine. So I'm going to be reading this hat. So no, I'm going to be wearing this hat while I'm reading this book. And you'll probably see more of that in the vlog. But this book also has green on the cover so this also meets one of those other challenges another book that has green on the cover is in the orchard the swallows by peter hobbs this is a small book that i just bought recently so i'm putting that on my tbr as well because you can never have too many short books for the readathon and so these are two four six seven books but these are some huge books man look at the pages i don't think i can read all of these in one week but in any case this is a pretty short book this is only a hundred and twenty something pages so that should be easy i also picked the other short books that i have on my shelves i picked up the stage play for vernon god little which is only about a hundred pages I have on love by elaine de botton this is a little over 200 pages i have how to get rich in asia by mohsin hamid this is also a little over 200 pages I have The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. This is 250 pages. I have The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and this is just a little over 200 pages. Nope, the text actually ends on page 188, so that would be a quick read, I think. And then I have Power of the Hand Stories by Yasunara Kawabata. And something that I learned from Books and Lala, she always recommended having a book of short stories when you're doing a readathon. Something to kind of break up the novels. And I do have a nonfiction in that stack, but this is a book of short stories that I could get to in a pinch. It doesn't have any green on the cover. And the spine isn't remarkable, so it wouldn't meet any of those two challenges. So as long as I've gotten the other challenges off, I could switch up my book and read something else. So those are the books that I have on my radar. For Booktubeathon 2018, I'm super hyped. I'm super excited. Last year, I won a challenge in the Booktubeathon. There are Instagram challenges daily. There are also daily video challenges to do something that is bookish related and make a video about it before the end of the day and post it. So the schedule is kind of tight because you hear about a challenge in the morning and you have until the night to really respond which means conceiving of a video, being home, or you know, having access to maybe your books or whatever your props are to make a video, and being able to take photos, as well as still reading a book a day on average. It's a lot, but Booktubeathon is fun. It is fun, it is a great time to meet new people. If you've been thinking about starting your own Booktube channel, this is the time to do it. I just met someone this morning who told me that she started a Booktube channel so she could post her Booktubeathon TBR. There's also an opportunity to win a box of books from Penguin if you make a video about your TBR and post it on Ariel's channel 
I think by the end of the weekend, the 23rd, I think is the last day to do that. That is probably the most enticing prize to a community of readers. So I'm looking forward to Booktubeathon. I'm looking forward to the daily challenges. I'm looking forward to reading these seven books in one week. That would be amazing. You know what else would be amazing? If I just wore this hat every day until then. Thanks for watching this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're doing Booktubeathon 2018. Let me know if you posted your video already and I'll go to your channel and watch it. And if, again, if you're new to the community and you're thinking about joining Booktube, today's the day to do it. So we'll talk in the comments and until next time, until Booktubeathon 2018 begins, happy reading. Bye.